So what am I going to report on today? Universal Orlando Halloween Horror Nights have revealed dates for 2020 as well as some very first details. Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shadogs the Ball Book Built for Theme Park News and welcome to another Halloween update. Now this is on Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando. We've got some dates for next year. We've got some details about what's been promised for the anniversary year of the event. Um, so we're going to go through all of that in this video, in this Halloween update. We've got plenty more stuff still yet to be revealed. Uh, we've got to do, we've got a video coming up this week from Chessington World of Adventures on their Halloween uh, dates reveal for next year. So stay tuned for that. Thought Park Fright Nights, the details and the dates for their Fright Nights event next year. Uh, that's going to be unveiled in the video as well. As well as that, IAP is coming up this week. So uh, we're going to have some videos uh, over next weekend. Well, this weekend. Um, from IAPA and sort of do like a roundup of all the announcements that happened over our IAPA so that should be pretty cool as well uh, make sure you go check out our videos over the past few days we've had updates from Thought Park and Blackpool Pleasure Beach Twos and Freed um, and many other parks and attractions like that so make sure you go and watch those updates now this is a Halloween update on Halloween Horror Nights Orlando this on their anniversary year next year we've got some details and some dates so let's share those details and dates right now. So the dates for the event have been revealed as the 10th of October, um, 31st of October and September 2020. Uh, well, September 10th to October 31st, technically. Um, the event will celebrate 30 years next year and Universal promising 10 brand new haunted houses. Now, the September 10th to October 31st is on selected nights. Uh, like most years, if not all the years. Um, actual main details about the event next year, of course, as you'd probably expect, with it just being the end of this year's event, are very, very sketchy. However, they are promising a lineup of 10 brand new haunted houses, five bone chilling scare zones, live entertainment, and more. And of course, past events have featured American Horror Story, the Walking Dead, and of course Stranger Things this year as well, as well as last year, they have Stranger Things as well. Uh, so if you want a bit of background on the event, Halloween Horror Night Star Stall I know is a three night event in 1991, and it's expanded since to Universal's other parks, Hollywood and Japan. Um, and of course, I'm just really excited to see what's gonna be revealed uh, in terms of maze, mazes, houses, zones, entertainment wise. It should be really interesting to see what's going to be revealed for this year, for next year's event. I've seen some really good reviews about this year. Um, so it's definitely a Halloween event I want to do in the next few years. Travel to the States, do Orlando, do this Halloween event. Um, it's one of those events where you sort of you really want to be you know, part of the event. Um, so it is a future plan in the next few years, in the long term future. Maybe in the next 10 years, we don't know yet. But it's definitely my dream Halloween trip in the States, uh, Halloween Horror Nights. So it's definitely up there. Now, I think 10 new haunted houses is a lot of new houses. Uh, five Bonesley Scare Zones. Now, they didn't mention new scare. They didn't say new Bonesley Scare Zones. They just said Bonesley Scare Zones. So I'm going to suggest that that new with the haunted houses is overall as well. So I'm going to have maybe... Uh, some ch some new set scare zones, maybe some new entertainment as well. But I think the main thing is the ten new haunted houses. Uh, so I'm really interested to see what themes they're going to go for with that. Uh, what is there in houses that are still going to stay uh, from last year? Um, you know which houses are going to go? Because if you're going to bring in ten new ones, you're going to replace ten old uh, ten ones from last year from this year. So you know. It's one of those things where you're going to sort of predict, you know, which houses are going to go, which ones are going to stay, and it should be interesting to follow over the 2020 season. So that's just a little Halloween update there from Universal Studios on Orlando on Halloween Horror Nights uh, 2020. We're going to keep you all updated all over Halloween updates tw in 2020. Uh, we're going to keep you updated all throughout next season uh, on the latest Halloween news. We're going to start covering more from Six Flags Fright Fest and more details uh, on their event. So obviously, 
um, when the dates get revealed and any maze announcements get revealed for Fright Fest, we'll cover them on the channel uh, next year as well. Uh, there's more independent UK Halloween events we'd like to cover. Uh, obviously, it's York Base Hallow Screams 10th anniversary next year, so that's a trip we're planning on doing. Uh, Yorkshire Scaregrounds in Wakefield, they've got a Christmas event mid-December that I'm really excited uh, to go to if, I, if, I, if it all goes through, fingers crossed. Uh, they're running a Christmas event called Yuletide Terror from the 13th to the 15th of December this year. Uh, so it's definitely an event I want to do because they've got three Christmas scares, scare mazes. Um, but they've got their main scareground sort of screen park event uh, throughout the Halloween season. I saw the reviews, one of the actors commented on the news update that I did on it. I'm sorry to get the chance to go to that event uh, Halloween this year. If, if I can make it at Christmas this year, I'll try my best. If not, it's definitely an event that I want to look at doing ne at next year's Halloween. Uh, Alton Town Scarefest, that's been a dream event of mine for years now. Thought Park Fright Nights, Chessington Halloween. Um, Poulton's do a very nice family Halloween event. Uh, and of course, I think Poulton's could be one of those parks where in the future they could actually add a couple of scare mazes, maybe, uh, if they could do so. I think Poulton's could be on the verge of scare mazes in the future, you never know. We've all been asking for it for a couple of years now. Uh, is next year the year that Poulton's Park adds scare mazes? There's plenty of Halloween events abroad in Europe, uh, at Wallaby, Leesburg, Traumatica at Europa Park. Is that going to be relocated to a new location in an old... Things like an old backlog, so I was talking about the next coaster at Europa Park in a couple of years' time, and the fact that it may be located on the old site of the Traumatica Halloween event. So is that going to move for next year? Uh, ready for construction to begin on a 2021-2022 coaster? Who knows? Uh, so Halloween next year is going to be bigger and better than ever on the channel. So thank you very much for watching this theme park Halloween update on Halloween Horror Nights All I Know. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. And for now, guys, I'm Coach Chell. Killing the coast life. I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care. Have an awesome day, my friends.